New NYPD technology has some people doing a double take and asking questions. It, as you see, it's a robot that's shaped like a dog. CB2 is the name of a robot child made by the University of Osaka. He's used to study how learning processes take place. CB2 has a quite human-like presence. Scientists are getting out of control. Soon their crazy inventions are going to turn on us and we're gonna have a full-on robot takeover. From robots performing surgeries to robots replacing humans. Let's talk about these and more only in today's video. Top 10 synthetic inventions that are messed up. Starting off this countdown, we have electrical food. Now, I don't know about you, but I love food and eating. So I am definitely not a fan of this invention. But basically, researchers have found a way to create food with only electricity, water, air, and microbes. How delicious does that sound? In the end, it creates this like protein powder. It's completely synthetic, but highly nutritious. Although it sounds gross, the reasoning behind why they created this is a really good one. This could be a way to solve world hunger. It could feed starving people and also provide food to areas not suitable for agriculture. So in that sense, I am all for this electrical food. I just don't think it would taste the best. In our ninth spot, we have the synthetic urine. And if you guys are liking this video so far, then make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Apparently, the market for fake pee is so high that the sellers can't keep up. Like, imagine that, being an illegal pee dealer. Like, how do you even get into that business? Not that I wanna know, like, for myself, but I'm a little curious. Anyways, the reason why people sell this is for people undergoing drug tests. If they do have drugs in their system, but want to cheat the test to make it look like they're clean, then they'll buy this synthetic urine. Apparently, it's most commonly sold at truck stops, so that's interesting. But for some, it's easier to just buy fake pee than convince people to pee in a cup for them. In our eighth spot, we have synthetic fraud. This is actually a more common issue than you would think. But basically, it's a huge crime that involves when someone steals someone else's social security numbers. Someone who commits synthetic fraud spends years paying bills and acting like they're a great law-abiding citizen. So it takes years to pull this off. In the end, this wins the trust of lenders because they're like, oh wow, yeah, you have a great rapport. Sure, we'll lend you money. So they'll take out a bunch of money or this criminal might order a bunch of expensive products. Then the criminal abandons the fake ID and just disappears. So then banks and lenders are like, what do we do now? And then the person whose identity was stolen is left severely screwed over. In fact, synthetic fraud is the fastest growing financial crime in the US. That's crazy. Just reminds me of the movie, The Identity Thief. I love Jason Bateman and Melissa McCarthy, love them. In our seventh spot, we have the chickenless egg. Yeah, it's exactly what it sounds like. Scientists are trying to create eggs themselves with no chicken involved. I'm sorry, but that's no for me. Now there's a couple of reasons why they are trying to do this. One, chickens lay nearly two trillion eggs per year, and they're often kept in cramped, unhealthy conditions. And chicken farming is having a very negative impact on the environment. So they are trying to create chickenless eggs. One quality that they are finding hard to copy about an egg is the fact that it's an emulsifier. So like it can mix things together that are hard to blend, like oil and water. But Hampton Creek Foods is currently going through the process and testing hundreds of substances to find a good emulsifier for these fake eggs. So far they have created a powdered egg. That's a good substitute for baking, but they're still in the process to create a real good fake egg. In our sixth spot, we have the robot police dogs. Okay, this one is way too creepy. Like, have these people not seen Robocop or Black Mirror? Like seriously, you're just asking for trouble. But basically, police departments have been testing out using a robotic dog. The New York Police Department was seen using one just last month, and it was received with a lot of backlash. They named this DigiDog. It's a 70 pound machine in which they would use to defuse hostage situations or other threatening situations. I'm sorry, but if I saw that thing roaming around me, it would not defuse me. It would scare the crap out of me and make it all worse. Now, the New York Police Department has since cut their ties with DigiDog. This is because people were expressing concerns about privacy issues and that the robot represents over-militarization, among other things. But there are other instances where police departments use this type of scary dog robot. 
We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with the CB2 child robot. Okay, you thought that dog was bad? Wait until you see this robot. If the scientist's goal was to make the creepiest robot out there, then they succeeded. So they created this weird gray robot baby. The robot has a mind of a child and it's slowly developing its social skills by watching humans interact. Yeah, so this thing observes human behavior and facial expressions and it records it through its eye cameras and then it memorizes it and then it repeats it back. It's super creepy. So just by interacting with humans, this robot is growing up and learning basic sentences and stuff. Now you may ask why? Why are they doing this? Well, their goal is to develop robo species. They want them to have learning abilities similar to humans or chimps. Again, why? Like you're just asking for a robot takeover. Their goal by 2050 is to have a complete team of robot football players to take on humans. You cannot pay me enough to be on the field playing with those robots. Sorry, not sorry. Making our way down the list, number four, we have DNA hacking. Every time I leave the house from now on, I'm gonna wear a full hazmat suit. Not because of the pandemic, but because people are out there stealing DNA. Let me explain. Bioterrorists are using people's DNA blueprints to grow customized bioweapons that will specifically harm that person. But on a good note, biologists can use our DNA to figure out custom made cures for whatever issues we're going through. So that's good. But then yeah, there's the whole people using it for evil to target other people and then kill off the population. So yeah, time to wear a hairnet, gloves, and a full suit. In our third spot, we have the body control. Now this next invention is still in the works, but basically researchers have found a way to control the bodies of animals. They successfully managed to do this on beetles. Literally, they can control them and make them do whatever they want through electrical stimulation. They plan on using these to help in disaster zones, like finding injured people in the rubble or even use them in war zones to help identify mines or bombs, which is good that, you know, they're using it for the good. But the whole mind control thing really freaks me out. Moving on to number two, we have surgery robots. Imagine you're laying in the hospital waiting for your surgeon to come in to perform your surgery when a freaking robot walks in. Well, doctors in Japan are currently creating surgery medical robots. I'm sorry, but that is way too much. Like all we need is for them to malfunction during an open heart or brain surgery. Now they haven't created a robot complex enough to do those intense procedures and I hope they never do. But they are creating a robot that will be able to conduct ultrasounds. By having these robots do minor things like ultrasounds, it would help free up nurses. And in our number one spot, we have the Geminoid. So a man named Hiroshi Ishiguro decided to make a complete robot clone of himself. He then named it Geminoid, which comes from the Latin Geminis, meaning twin. This dude programmed his own body language and voice into the robot. He even used his real hair for the robot's hair. Later on, he built his robot twin a girlfriend. How nice of him. But his goal with his twin robot is to have it so complex that he can use it to teach classes remotely. Like he can be at home chilling while his robot interacts with his class at his university. Isn't that insane? Like, is this what the future is gonna look like, robot teachers? All right guys, that's all for today's video. Let me know in the comments below which invention creeped you out the most. Those robots, nah, -uh, they gotta go. And now, speaking of comments, let's move on to our comment shout out portion. I'll be shouting out comments from the video, top 10 people having a worse day than you. It's a funny video, go check it out. Ariel Smith commented, yay, the queen is hosting. Yes, it is me, I'm hosting the video. I just think of like the queen of England whenever. Anyway, moving on. Adura Brony one commented, has anyone else subscribed to Lindsay's new channel? It's called Peach. Yes, go check out my new channel, Peach. That's all I gotta say, it's gonna be a good time. Please go check it out. I'll still be almost amazing full time, but you should also check out Peach because then you'll see another side of me that you've never seen before. Fanboy Mark commented, I think Lindsay has the best background of all the current house. Well, thank you. Literally, I transformed this junk room in the basement into my own private studio. All these records are thrifted and I really like it. It brings me joy. I love it. So thank you. 
All right, guys, that's all the comments I'm shouting out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see you when I see ya.